Well, Avina, you can go in my place. Then I won't disappoint my father. But how? They will see that I'm a girl. And my parents will miss me. Of course not. We will switch places. We'll cut your hair and put it back on me. We both have brown hair. And we switch clothes. Okay, we could try it. But what if they'll bust us? That's something of lady concern. And we won't let that happen, okay? Alright. Okay then. I shall tell my parents that I do it. And ask when I have to leave. Okay, see you later. Okay, father, mother. I thought about it. And I will do it. When do I have to leave? Okay, good. I'm proud of you, son. Whatever you decide. You can go back, you know. Yes, I know, but I don't want to go back. Let's not go too fast. First we have to fill in some papers. One for your father's resign, and one for your application. And then we have to wait if they will accept you. What? Isn't that sure? But Dad, why did you say that it was my duty? I wanted to say it, but you ran away. I tell you now, will you listen? Okay then, it's a tradition. And as a son of a knight, you make a great chance. Alastor, honey, I see that you can't wait anymore. Alright then, let's search for the papers. found them. Good work, Estella. Alastor, would you go help your father out of bed? Yes, mom. I, Alaric, declare that my son Alistair is ready to become a night. I, Alaric, declare that I resign my duty of a knight.
My lord, I've got a letter for you. Come further. Ah, uh, my dear knight Alaric resigns, but he sends his son Alistair to night school. Knight Mortimer, would you deliver this letter to Knight Alaric and his son Alistair? Yes, my lord. <laughs>